Okay, let's try this again. Uh, first time I had a bad ground, so I, I cleared that up some more. Uh, this is a try at a 3D printed template. I, I melted a little bit there because I had a bad ground and it just kept flashing back up at the template. Um, this is for a project I've been trying, one to try out for a while. This is uh, like 8 inch steel, a little bit thicker than 8 inch, I think. So let's, let's see if it works. That's soft. Let well, it cool down some. And of course I didn't make sure that my camera was recording. Um, I did go through around the circle, but it looks like it was uh, off center. It's still, it's still hot. Um, the template, safe to say, did not survive. Well, you don't like focusing on that, do you? <laughs> See, a little, little melting. There was a spot there in the middle where it flashed right through. Uh, but that part, that part right there looks okay. Although it may be, no, no, it's melted to the steel. So, I imagine now that... Oh, <laughs> there you go. Where, where these were clamped on, there are now divots in the plastic. This was PETG. I did kind of like a, a draft settings. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. See, that's that's fun right there. Um, interesting. All right. Well, now we know three D printing is not is not a suitable material, I would say dare at all, for plasma cutting templates. And in case you were wondering, here's the plasma cutter I'm using. It's a Lotus uh, 5500D running on 240 volts. Um, and then these are the tips that I was using on the gun. So that gets you a narrower sharper tip. I'll see if I can have a link for that in the description. The stock tips that come on it are these. A definite difference in the diameter and the height. Like this is much more suitable for running on a template than this.